Willie was dribbling between his legs and going on. Haskins was pulling his hair out. Bounce passes, killed him. And anybody that dribbled behind their back or threw a behind the back pass, oh, you just might as well sit down. And Willie, Willie was dribbling, <laughs> sliding on the floor, dribbling between his legs, and they were all chasing him around the floor. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. But he was quite a ball player. He really was. Tonight, we remember the life and legacy of El Paso sports legend Willie Cager, who passed away this morning at 81 years old. I sat down one-on-one -on -one with his former teammate Togo O'Reilly tonight. The two played at Texas Western together for two and a half years, including in that famous 1966 season, which saw them win the national championship. The pair have stayed friends for the 60 years since they first played on the hardwood together. You just heard Togo talk about the kind of ball player Willie was, but Togo said his legacy is so much more than what he did on the court all those years ago. He described him as a true friend, someone who you couldn't help but hang on to every word of every story he told. A man whose biggest victory will always be his family. Someone who wanted to always give back and a Texas Western legend that loved the program. Willie would basically attend every minor home game over the years and even stopped in at practice. I took this next photo back in September of last year where he met with players and shared his wisdom at a practice. You know, we're all getting old. And, you know, today's the 19th. This was the night we won the whole thing. You know, 57 years ago. Willie, Willie probably planned it that way. I think he passed this morning. He's... If he, if he were here right now, he'd be in there watching ball games. He loved basketball, loved basketball, loved New York, loved El Paso. But he loved the kids that he worked with all his whole life. Uh, that's his legacy. And keeping the memory, <laughs> I'm going to cry in a minute, keeping the memory alive. 57 years is a long time.